Good morning, how are you doing? I haven't vlogged for such a long time and I don't really feel guilty because it's been really crazy, hectic, busy. Vlogging is my hobby, that's why I don't put any pressure on myself to, to do this. I'm just doing this whatever I feel like it. Anyway, quick update because lots have happened. Finally we have our kitchen kind of done and um, obviously during the COVID, the first lockdown, we couldn't have this done and um, a little bit of time after that. Uh, we actually didn't feel like safe to let people in straight away, which probably was better than now. But anyway, um, well, we're getting there, we're getting there. I will show you how it looks our kitchen in a second. And we've been busy chasing our developers to get some stuff done around the house. Still some things are not done, but I think that's a new build journey drama. <laughs> I think lots of people have that. Oh well, that's what I've done. When I've been so busy, I actually managed to put this wall gallery over there. It's transformed this hallway so much, like I'm really happy I did that. It's beautiful. I really love that. And um, I don't know if I showed you before, I put that little bad boy on the command straps because I don't, I can't, I, I don't think if I can really drill that well i will be not that brave because that's some electricity going there above the plugs and i'm not a specialist so i just decided to put this in command straps i need to still put some white stickers here and maybe even like kind of um cork or whatever you call that or silicon just to make this look nice here's my kitchen please excuse the mess as i just drop off scott and i back from school and this has to be all unit change because it's bended that's why the door sometimes doesn't close they want to change that um extract of extractor hood extractor hood and we need to put the tiles the idea was to also put some under cabinet lighting but we get a quote from one of the electricians and for one, two, three, four lights and the cabinet lights. He asked for 600 pounds, which I'm not sure is that right, but it sounds like a little bit a lot to me, especially on the top of that, we have to also put the tiles. We also got this little bad boy. My camera doesn't focus. All right, this is the milk jug for around 30 pounds but have the temperature there so you don't need a thermometer while, while you're frothing your milk you just can easily see the temperature here do you know like the kind of thermometers uh, I remember from the childhood when you just put it on your forehead and it shows you like stick to your stick just put on your forehead and shows you temperature and um, so that kind of thermometer is inside the jug which I think when you're buying the jug separately and thermometer you're gonna pay exactly the same money but it's just easier another thing what I want to tell you show you this is a piece of paper which I painted let me put the conquers everywhere I painted on different shades of grey the shades of grey what I think I like from there from Dulux and um, I want to put them somewhere around and I'm gonna watch them for a little while how they look in a different light of the day i just need to maybe make them straight because you can see they're creasing a little bit and it's not going to be the same effect um but so far i think that one is my favorite that one maybe it will be too dark but i like it as well i don't know i ordered some brochure from what is that brand 
Graham and Brown, whatever you spell this. I'm sorry if I made this wrong. Uh, just to have a little bit more or less look on the colors, what they offer. Honestly, the old me will probably go for that color. It's like a rich blue, like a midnight blue. I will tell you what I really, really love. I love like a black, matte black, flat color on the wall with lots of green plants, maybe like monsteras, and lots of gold, which is, looks fabulous, like I absolutely love it, but I don't think I'm brave enough to paint the house, paint the room in black, especially because we have a new build and the, the ceiling is quite low and, to show that to show it before I'm gonna have this coffee we had yeah we had the handyman yesterday he did quite a good job on the boiler to cover to cover the pipes I will show you this that's one one thing there because we had leak from the boiler so they have to remove that little bit and he had to put it back and he had to build over there you can't even see you can't even see is as you know is made it looks like a wall which is fine, this is great, okay? But, I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see that. You're not gonna be able to see this. Wait, that's gonna focus. Here, it's not that bad, yeah? Can you, can you see this? How is that frame down properly? This should be sanded, should be cold put it there. At the end. Probably not going to be able to see, but on the top of there, it's also look horrible, horrible. It's like, can, can you see that? I don't know if you can, because I can't really see this. I like things. I know those are small things, but it drives me crazy. Like, why would you paint on some dirt when this gonna came off in a second? You know, I complain to the customer care. I said like the work I'm sorry is terrible. Like he supposed to also um <laughs> oh you don't know, you don't know all the story but we had the people being for the kitchen and they had to redo some from obviously sent from the developers and they had to redo some uh, some pipes under the sink and they just did such a bad work. Well they didn't stop the water in front of the house so we had and they trying to remove the stopcock. So obviously the water blow out and we have flooding all the downstairs, hallway and kitchen. I was like bringing our towels to keep this, to dry this actually. And all the water went under the floor, caused like cause the troubles, the floor around one unit has to be changed. And the handyman who did this bad frame, door frame work, will actually attend again to do this. So yesterday when I was actually really upset about what he did, the work there, and he used also the oil based paint, which, you know, we have a little one and um, it's not ideal for, to nobody use anymore, at least in the house when people not leaving, you can use because especially, especially putting one coat and waiting like 10 minutes put another coat so the coat under the, the, the first coat it doesn't dry so it can actually release a toxic to the environment for years so I was really upset about this like for not really telling us because uh, otherwise I would just, just stop him I just smell this paint and I knew I have to pick up my child in a second and bring him to the house when it smells like oil paint and what for? For nothing because the job is not done properly. And he actually agreed with me. He, well, what he said, he said, I didn't know I have to do that. I like to put the cork there or whatever, silicon or whatever you put there. I think that's a cork. The wood filler or whatever. And make this nice. He, anyway, what am I explaining that? That's a, that's a person who actually is doing that job for so long and uh, should know. Don't you think? Anyway, 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 I said to the customer, I don't really want him to return into the floor if the world's gonna look like that. It actually scares me because what's gonna happen? 
I will have to replace all the floral dancers because it's gonna be totally damaged. <sighs> In the end, uh, when he when he back and he said he will fix that, he will make sure everything's gonna look good. Just give him, I give him a chance because. But I have such a bad experience so far with all these workers. Not all the workers, but most of the workers coming to the house. They are just not careful. They're just throwing the plumbers who actually cause the flooding in my house. They throw the like heavy duty tools on my floor, and I just just say just be careful with my floor. Uh, so I've been told off. I have to stop moaning because he's coming to help me. Like. And actually, and in the end, he caused the he caused the flooding, and 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 they have to change. They had they have to change the washer in a um, in a bathtub, and they actually made this worse than it was before because now when you're closing the tap, the water's still leaking for a little bit. The professional. There's the people who are doing this job for years, for years, and they don't know. I just I don't know. Maybe that's only me having a bad experience, I don't know. Is anybody else? Is anybody else? Because I developed such a high blood pressure and I feel like I'm gonna die at night when I was sleeping in a bed from being so stressed about everything, uh, what was going on here. Relax and I'm just gonna try to not get too upset about the stuff. If there's some things I can do, I can do by myself and I'm sure I'm gonna do this better without stress. So I'm planning actually paint that room grey, but I don't want too dark grey because you know when you you can always go from pay, from like a light coat to the dark it's easier than reverse. Um, then you will have to prime the walls and it's like so much work, so much work. And so I decided to do that. And another project is and some little bit of boards and put some water base uh, paint on them just to refresh them because some of them they have some uh, you know like um, little dance or something so wood fillers obviously uh, I, will, I will need some cork I think that's how we call this to to make this look nice so for Christmas everything's gonna look beautiful and nice I'll show you in that light here is the color what I like the most that's how we look here. I think it will go very nice with the sofa. And we have lots of like um, um, rose gold, which I think also is very nice. It's cooling down this and make this rose gold pop out. It looks a little bit cold, but that's okay because we have warm tones here and the sofa in this rose gold. We have this like, um, what was it, rose gold mirror. Uh, we have quite a warm floor. Our floor is from Modulo. It's, the line is called Impress, so that's the highest line which actually have a pattern of the wood. And I think it also looks quite warm. It has like a warm and cool tones. We have some grey, uh, you can see the grey grey armchair and um, I don't know if you can hear me properly but have some grey armchair, we have some grey colour on the rug, um, grey coffee table. I think that's like how they call this, the design is days, the rules of three days. So this is basically what you're doing, you're putting this on the wall, stick to the wall, in different places probably is the best, and you're watching that colour for three days, in different light, in different time of the day as well, and then you're gonna be able to find out if you like it because even if you're going to kind of like a paint show rooms or something the light is different the light is make like that to make this color looks better looks more flattering and it doesn't it make that not necessarily working for your house because for example um south facing houses when the lights coming from the south they have much more light during the day and the color looks probably you can go probably for darker colors because you have so much more light there's the difference as well with the houses north facing houses when uh, you need to 
warm up a little bit this house with warmer tones of the colors and make this more cozy because you don't have enough light or you have some light but it's not like not that bright like the south facing houses i used to make that mistake uh, just to go to the shop and see the color on sometimes even on the paint and and i was like oh my god that's such a nice color yeah it's beautiful but not necessarily going with your furniture what you have not necessarily going with the room with the light what you have but that's what i did and then uh, you see that was my big regret once i go for tails it was work for the room and that was very trendy that time it made this room nice but again i choose this by the paint i see like the color what i seen on the paint which is i think not the best another time i choose and I made my husband to agree for that. It was a kind of like wine color. I would call this like a wine red. It was quite dark and rich. And also it was printed that, that time. And I also didn't done this rule of free or like a painting, even on the wall. But I recommend actually you to paint on the wall because it's the surface where the paint's gonna go. Uh, so. <laughs> I did have another. We just I don't know. I don't remember. We just went to Wilco probably, and we just just a color. But you know what? With the with the time, you learn. You learn, and especially nowadays when the internet is full of advices how to decorate your room, it's quite hard to make mistake. But anyway, if you thinking of painting your room, think twice because I remember this um, wine color on the wall. It was great for one month and then it drives me crazy it actually makes me upset because i was in the bedroom and i don't think you should really go for that rich especially red-ish colors in a place when you're sleeping because they apparently the color like red makes you more energetic more even aggressive so <laughs> you don't need that in your bedroom so that's what i'm gonna do that's what i'm gonna do today uh i'm gonna study the color I'm gonna study the color for three days and then we will see. Um, I'm gonna show you which gray colors, which gray colors I already tested. Most of the paints from Dulux and one of them is a Goose Down, Cheek Shadow, Polish People and I also test some from Crown, it's called Granite Tass. <clears throat> so the granite dust I think is quite dark. I'm gonna start from the darkest one, which is crown. Yeah, it's the granite dust. I don't know. Probably you can't see now. But it's quite dark. The Polish people. When I put the first coat, I was quite sure it's basically like a beigey. Uh, creamy white but turns all right have lots of also blue tones cold tones which I'm not sure it could probably work it's very airy so I would probably use that more for bedroom it's pretty it's pretty though and it's doing very nice with the uh, warm color of the sofa and this color was my favorite on the beginning, I must say. Chic Shadow. you like it thank you for watching and see you next time bye